Hey guys, so today I am just getting ready. I've got a bunch, not a bunch, I've got a few um, new products that I wanna try out on camera. So like a little first impression, get ready with me. Also, I have a few updates on my surgery that I did a little over four months ago now. If you've been um, keeping tabs on that, things are going well, but I have a few updates. So um, yeah, if you wanna see me get ready, <laughs> gonna get ready with me and kind of see what I think about some of these new products including these lashes which um, well first to start off I'm gonna be using my prime time this is a neutralizing primer because I did um, just work out and my face is still pretty red I really like this primer. It's from Bare Minerals. Um, that's obviously not a new product. I've been using it for a long time and I love it. Something that is new to me is this Fenty Beauty foundation. I am dumb and ordered it in way too light of a color. I don't like returning stuff. I, I mix my foundations all the time anyway. Um, so I mean I have tried it but only mixed with other things. I do have this little sample um, pack of a bunch of other shades. So I'm gonna mix it with a darker shade to see if I even like the foundation solo. Um, Cause I've only mixed it with MAC Face and Body which really waters it down, which I like. I think I'm gonna mix it with the shade 340. And I think what if I do end up liking it, I think I'll just get like a dark shade because my skin tone changes throughout the entire year. Um, I might even hit this shade eventually this winter. I don't know, we'll see. So I only have a few updates um, since I'm four months now post-op. And one of the big updates is um, the hair loss. I've been losing so much hair and it has sucked really bad. And I've been taking collagen and biotin since I had the surgery and I was just hoping that I'd be one of those lucky people who avoided the hair loss, but it hit me hard. I mean, I hear it slows down a bit, but it's definitely not slowing down. I feel like this is making my skin look really dry. For concealer, I'm gonna use some Tarte Shape Tape, which is a little bit darker than I want it to be right now. It doesn't really do much brightening. So I'm going to add some Urban Decay Naked Skin in a really light shade. Another physical update, I have started working out, like actually working out, um, just this year, so 2018. It's only been five days, but I've worked out every day and I'm feeling really good. So I actually started CrossFit Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And then on my off days, I've just been doing stuff around here. And so far, I really like CrossFit. I have no core strength or upper body strength, but that part's really tough for me. But anything with my legs, I can handle. <laughs> I guess we're going really full coverage today. I wasn't planning on that, but this is like... I feel like that foundation plus those concealers made it like a mask. So yeah, so the workouts have been going good. I was working out... Um, last year not um, consecutively. I was not very motivated or consistent, but I don't know, something about the new year and setting goals and making those resolutions just, I don't know, got me excited. So, I mean, it's been five days, but I've been doing good so far and I really like the gym that I'm going to. So, so I'm excited for this year. I'm excited to see like where I'm at month to month now since um, I'm actually moving my body and not just relying on the surgery to do its job. Um, this is new-ish to me, the Laura Mercier um, loose powder. I don't love loose powders. That's why I never jumped on this when everybody was into it. I just feel like they're a hassle. <laughs> see? And um... I don't like baking. I don't like how it looks when I bake. It looks so... It just looks like too much. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
I know this right now looks like a lot, but I don't know, baking's just not for me. I just have a Z palette here with some contour shades from the Smashbox Masterclass palette from a couple years ago. I don't know, I don't remember. I don't know if I have shown you guys, but I have red hair now. I decided since all my hair was gonna probably be falling out, I'd go back to dark so that I don't have to keep bleaching it. I was blonde for a few years and I loved it. I, like, I still love me as a blonde. It's like, I miss it a lot. But I'm on my way back to black. So I just went ahead and did my brows off camera. I know that they're a lot um, I just have not plucked them in months. I used, um, soft brown, so, I don't know. It's a very bold brow, but there's just a lot of hair there. I don't know what else to do. I've been loving this little sleek cheek palette here from Sleek Makeup. I kind of just mix all of them. I'm gonna use this little Vanilla Quartz Highlighter from Becca. Uh, I forgot to mention while I was filming that this is also a new product that I'm trying out. It uh, was in my stocking as a little stocking stuffer. And I love it. It gives more of a wet skin look instead of like that shimmery highlight, like really heavy type of highlighter that a lot of um, the Becca highlighters give. I just love that this looks more like a wet kind of natural glow instead of just like a thick shimmery metallic highlight so big two thumbs up for this um vanilla quartz from becca i think is what it's called very much liking this right now i got a couple new little palettes over christmas and i wanted to use them i've never used either of these they kind of have really similar colors actually so, not too sure what I want to do with my eyes, but I do want, really want to try out at least one or two of these new Stila liquid um, eyeshadows. I've heard lots of good things, so probably going to keep this just pretty neutral. I'll go in with both of these right here. This is the Huda Beauty Warm Brown. These eyeshadows feel really nice. I've never used anything from Huda Beauty. Okay, so I'm looking at the foundation up close. I don't know if you can see it, but it makes my skin look so dry. And I didn't use much powder, so... Jeez. Like, I'm just seeing so much texture everywhere. Maybe I used too much? But I had been liking it when I mixed it with my MAC face and body. So maybe it is just a little bit too much for my skin to handle, like alone. I'm gonna take just that lightest shade, pop it under here. I'm gonna use this brush that came with the Naked Heat palette. I'm gonna use Cayenne from Naked Heat. It's a um, ruddy brown color. Ooh, I don't like this brush at all. I forgot to um, use this Micro Essential Mist from Lala Fox. Um, maybe this will help the foundation look a bit better. I love the uh, the fine mist. Let me do a little more. I got this little pack that has six shades. So it looks like there's some shimmer and some actual glitter. I think I'll use Kitten and Grace. This is um, Grace. I don't know how high I should take it up. Sometimes when I put these in my crease, they just transfer up into the top area. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe if I wear this throughout the day and notice that it doesn't like transfer up to this top area, like when I blink and stuff, maybe then next time I will be brave enough to take it higher. I'm gonna pop a little bit of that in the center as well. Oh, this is kitten now. It's a little bit brighter, lighter. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the glitter in peachy sheen just to the center right here. I don't know, I'm gonna let that dry. I think on the lower lash line, I'll go ahead and take this um, shade right here. So off camera, I just blended this dark um, brick red color into the very outer corner. And then I brought a tiny bit of it through the crease. Um, I really like the glitter, it's easy or the shimmer, whatever. It's easy to blend colors on top of. I don't know, I just really liked it. I also really um, blended in some, mostly this and a little of this into the lower lash line. And that is that, okay. So I am kind of upset because I was so excited to use these friggin' $30 lashes from Velour. They're silk lashes, fluff and cool. Um, so that's them. And I don't know if you can see, like they're pretty, but I have Ilure ones that I think look better and feel better and are easier to apply and they're like eight bucks. So, I don't know. They're pretty, but I would never buy another pair. If you want something that looks like this, go check out Ilure. Sell it at Target, Walmart. I'm using my Duo Clear Lash Adhesive. This is It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Shoot, I don't have enough hands to hold a mirror. It's just way too curved, like it doesn't wanna touch my skin it's like standing off of my skin does that make sense i feel like i haven't done a cool tone lip in a long time this is lime crime cashmere these liquid lips are also new to me i know that there was a bunch of drama around this brand but I just really like the product. This is probably one of my favorite formulas of a liquid lip now. So, I mean, if you can get past whatever beef happened a few years ago, then I definitely recommend these lippies. They are, I got them off of Hot Look for a pretty good price. So overall, I definitely love these, or at least this um, cashmere lip from Lime Crime. So this is the finished makeup look. If you guys have any um, questions or comments leave them down below uh, if you would like to subscribe I would love it um, but yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video bye